Some Android users are being targeted uh, with crypto mining scams. Lance Whitney here for Tech Republic uh, to talk to me a little bit more about this. And Lance, it seems like all the time, of course, we're talking about scams and things that are happening to people, uh, unfortunately. And this is just another new one. Uh, what's going on here with this one? Right, sure, Karen. So yeah, this is just the, the latest type of scam uh, going on in the in the mobile world. So the story I did was based on a report from this security firm called Lookout. And what they did uh, is they, through their research, they found 170 different Android apps, uh, 25 of which were on Google Play, and the others were on just third-party app stores. And these apps were uh, running crypto mining scams. Uh, so what, what they did, basically, the developers charged the users uh, money to download or subscribe to the apps, and then they failed to deliver what was promised. So that leads to the question of what, what do we mean by crypto mining? So crypto mining is short for cryptocurrency mining. And this is a measure whereby you volunteer the, the computing resources of your computer, or in this case, your, your mobile device. So you volunteer your, your device's uh, processor and memory and other resources uh, to um, calculate uh, and solve uh, complex mathematical equations. And those equations are then used to uh, validate and verify cryptocurrency transactions. So it's, it's a type of crowdsourcing uh, in, the, in the cryptocurrency world. Um, in return for volunteering the resources of your computer or your mobile device, you're promised a certain amount of money in the form of cryptocurrency. So that's the bargain. The problem here with these devious apps and developers is that they fail to live up to their end of the bargain. So they charged users money, but they never responded with any type of payment in the form of the cryptocurrency. So what happened here uh, was that altogether, Lookout found that uh, $350,000 were essentially stolen from more than 93,000 users of these different apps. And the money was collected a few different ways. In some cases, the developer would charge an upfront fee um, for the app. In other cases, they would uh, charge an in-app purchase for people who had already downloaded the app. And in other cases, they would actually charge an ongoing subscription fee to the user uh, to, to continue to use the app. But either way, or whatever method they use to charge uh, the people who downloaded these apps, they never, uh, they, they failed to live up to their end of the agreement. Um, so what, what ultimately happened was that Lookout informed Google about these devious apps, and Google was able to remove the 25 um, apps on the Google Play Store, but in the meantime, there are still a lot of these apps floating around on third-party app stores, which don't necessarily have the same uh, security or protection that you'd have on Google Play. So this means that people are potentially still vulnerable to these types of scams. Okay, so Lance, what is someone who's supposed to do that, that you know, they have good intentions, they're interested in this type of thing? How do they go about uh, you know, installing these apps safely? Sure, Karen. So uh, Lookout came up with five different pieces of advice for people who uh, do want to get involved with this type of uh, cryptocurrency mining, uh, but maybe a little bit wary uh, of falling for a scam. Um, and these, these tips also, uh, in some ways, apply to anyone who is um, interested in downloading certain types of apps, but maybe a little bit suspicious or, or certainly wants to be cautious. Uh, to make sure that they're downloading legitimate apps. So uh, one piece of advice that Lookout gave was to investigate the developer behind the app. So you wanna do your, your due diligence. You wanna check out the developer, either looking at the 
uh, the description of the app or more importantly, uh, checking out their website, seeing if they have a website, do they have a way to contact them? Are, are, are they, is this person a legitimate developer with the right resources uh, to back them up or are they more kind of a, a fly by night scam artist? So you wanna, you wanna do some, uh, some research into the developer uh, themselves. Another piece of advice that's, that's important, I think, is you want to try to stick with legitimate app stores to, to download and certainly to purchase apps. There, you know, you, we have Google Play for Android users. We have uh, the app store for iPhone and iPad users. Um, and also Amazon has an app store for Amazon devices. But there are a lot of third-party app stores out there. Uh, some of them legitimate, some of them maybe not so much. Uh, the problem with some of these app stores is they don't have the security or the protections that you would find with Google Play or with uh, Apple's App Store. So you do want to be, you do want to exercise some caution there. And if at all possible, try to avoid these third-party app stores and, and stick with the, the legitimate stores uh, to be on the safe side. Uh, a third uh, item here that Lookout recommended was to read the terms and conditions of the app before you download it. So essentially read the fine print. Uh, so you know what you're getting. Uh, you, you can sometimes tell if this is a legitimate app or not. Is the developer forthcoming about the terms and conditions and details about the app or uh, does the description is, or the listing of the app, is it sparse with information? Um, so, so you definitely want to delve into the fine print and get a sense of whether this is a legitimate app or not. Um, a fourth thing to go along with that definitely is read the user reviews because uh, much of the time, if an app uh, gets tagged as suspicious or not legitimate or malicious in some way, any users who've already uh, downloaded and installed the app will, uh, will often chime in with, uh, with warnings, um, alerting people to avoid this app and telling them, no, this is, this is suspicious, or I downloaded this app and you know, it failed to deliver what it promised, so, so be wary of this. So you, you definitely want to check out the, review, the user reviews for any signs of uh, for any suspicious signs or malicious signs from, from other people who've downloaded it. And then the final piece of advice from Lookout is you want to uh, check out the, the permissions that the developer is asking or requiring. So any pretty much any uh, Android app that you download is going to want certain permissions, uh, meaning permission to access your contacts or access your camera or access certain data on your phone. So you want to you want to get a sense of what permissions the app is requesting and make sure that you're OK with that. Make sure you're OK with the permissions. If you think that these requests are overboard um, or are overreaching, based on what the app does, then that can certainly be another red flag that this is something to avoid. All right, Lance, always something to be on the lookout for. Uh, thanks so much for that. And we appreciate all of you watching us here today. For much more, check out Tech Republic.